Aloha everybody, I'm glad you all could make it as we are right now going over the quirks and not so much the features as there isn't much of the particular driver in battle stage by name of Nova, leader of Baba Yaga. Without further ado, let's just highlight all the inconsistencies that there are that this driver puts out. First, we'll go over the coincidental stuff and then we'll go over this stuff that I simply just cannot explain so instance one right here you can see at the bottom Nova in yellow L not or er, not rather in orange and this is the very grippy overtake on the inside we'll play at full speed play it back again and just uh, my thoughts on it That was a nice pass. All right. So, going over right that right there, it was a very planted pass. However, if you noticed, halfway through the turn when he was going in, he turned back out and then turned back in again as he was like quartering into the turn too much. Ordinarily, uh, under normal tires, if you aborted the turn and then tried to turn back in at that speed, wouldn't you be more towards the inside of the road or inside or towards the outside? Like, where did the... Gr Look at how much grip he has and how far over he does not slide over to the other lane. Not... I will say, though, the music completely lines up really well with that overtake, like... like that, that, was, that was pretty phenomenal, but... That was a nice pass. Let's just, again, one last time, just to see where he lines up. We're gonna slow this one down. It's gonna sound like trash, but I think it's important to note where the exit is for his car. Both cars right now are going pretty fast. They're going at full speed right now. And not has to break significantly because he's taking a bad line through there. And that's a good reference because he's going too fast on the inside. Nova right here coming in from the outside turns in, head aborted, and then now you turn in again. He's not even passing over the center line. If he had aborted the turn, he should be more over towards the right-hand side of the road. And this wasn't a late apex either. One final time. Turns in, aborts, continues going, that was a nice pan. stays in the entire time. I don't know where he gets that grip from, I can say from my experience in Battle Stage, you don't have that type of grip there on that turn. But hey, you know what? It's just circumstantial evidence. So let's move on towards his battle against Kansen, right? We got this beginning right here. Uh, well, actually, let's rewind a little bit and just listen. <clears throat> Hard to tell, but at the beginning right there, there was just a slight bit of the engine sound itself got a little bit quieter. I'll play it one more time, but I won't strive, I won't stick around on this point for long, as it'll come up later in better detail. As for this one, for this point, my hearing could just be trash, or it could be my speakers. Let us speed it up to this overtake happening right here. Again, look at how much grip he has and when both cars begin to accelerate. Let's 
should be coming right now. Oh, and that's gonna be the side by side. Where is he gonna get from the other? Oh, he actually he got his way through. He overtook. That's a lot of grip, if you ask me. Brakes? Oh, hard. But at this point, both of them begin to accelerate, right? And that's gonna be the side. At that point, both cars should be accelerating at around the same point in time. Maybe Hansen oh, broke and that's just gonna not be hit the Nova. Side by side. But is he gonna get it from the outside? Oh, he actually as he that way through. As that top. pass should be perfectly fine. You be the judge of that. Uh, whether or not he had right away to close in like that. Again, you be the judge of that. The only point with that is the amount of overall grip that he had with that overtake. I'll show it one last time. Oh, and that's gonna be the side by side. But is he gonna get it from the outside? Oh, he actually he got his way through. He overtook. And let's just go over to the meat and potatoes of this right here. So let's just go over to Dog's battle, Dog Gamer's battle with him. And with that, we're gonna actually go over to the Assetto Corsa replay of it. Just to show that uh, I'm not full of baloney. At this minute marker on the stream, this did happen. This battle did, did happen. This is the second run with Dog Gamer. Swap and go. Let's see if Dog Gamer can defend and potentially get it back with another outrun. Here you can see Dog coming in on that side right there. And... Oh, my word. Okay. Uh, there we go. Technology. And there you can see Dog Gamer on that side. Well, you can't, you kind of can't. But if I swap over cars, driver named Dog Gamer. And we're on Nova right now. Let's just watch this beginning right here. And uh, I'll even throw on pedal cam as well. Just so you can see his inputs. So we got a rolling start here, and Dog gets an earlier launch, and, well, hold on, let's just watch that. Let's just confirm that Dog gets the earlier launch, right? Okay, there we got Dog going full power, and Nova does not have full power, so Dog should be pulling away at this point. And Dog is pulling away at this point. But Nova slowly starts to gain on him, and then he lifts off. Or the pedal at least shows that he lifts off. Pay close attention to the distance between him and Dog Gamer. They should catch it. Let's just rewind it and go into slow motion for it. The moment he lifts off the pedal, is the moment he's slowly starting to gain on Dog. Half speed right now. Slowly gaining on Dog, lifts off. But he's lifting off, but still keeping pace with Dog, going up a hill. If for some reason his pedal cam, will, or his pedals were broken, and he lifted off, should Dog Gamer not be pulling away from him, going up a hill? This thing does not have much power to begin with, so if you start cutting it down on the power, any lack of power is going to show, especially on a straightaway like this. Gains lets off, going like 90% right there. Puts it back on. Still gripping, still gripping. No tire screeching at all. Slight gain on Dog, but that's because Dog lifted off, hits the guardrail, crashes. And right at this point, he's finally in third gear. Short shifted it really quite down low, actually.
but regardless, he's in third gear now, fully accelerating, and Dog is at the corner right there. This is the one minute marker right now. That timer is not accurate, as if you go to Dog right here, it's actually only 13 seconds into the race, but that's still useful for us as it will definitively show how much of a gap there is between Nova and Dog at this point in time. And let's just see how fast Dog is taking this car. 97 kilometers an hour, right? Nova, well, hold on, that's not fair. Okay, there we go. 96 kilometers an hour at that corner. Nova here takes the corner. It's only going 75 kilometers an hour. And at the top right, you can see it's give or take, it's a little shy of a four second gap, but he's taking the corner slower. So it would not be unreasonable to say that it is a four second gap right now within the first how many seconds of the race? 17 seconds of the race. Let's just see how fast he pulls ahead and catches back up to Dog Gamer. Keep in mind, the whole entire track right here, the fastest time is a 1 minute 50 seconds, and the average time is 155. So there's not that much leeway in terms of how fast you can actually go. But let's just see how much ground he can make up. Keep in mind, four second gap. It's not really going half throttle at all. He's either on or off the gas for all of these corners. And his car is absolutely planted. And Dog might not be the fastest driver here. But his final time for this run was a 155. Keep that in mind absolutely gripping these corners here, right? We confirmed that there was like a four second gap. But now, let's find a reference point. That's the reference point right there. 42 seconds. 44. He just made up two seconds. Two seconds in approximately 40 seconds of track. Two whole seconds and 40 seconds of track. For something this short, if he were to keep this pace going, shaving off two whole seconds off of a 55 second run every 40 seconds, that would put him at around a 150 or lower. That is incredibly, incredibly insane just to think about should this car be legitimate. But let us just continue on. Here we have him taking the corner, going off road, but it doesn't seem to be affecting him at all. Keep in mind, as I said, if he hit the dirt and you hear like a little dirt sound effect, your tires that hit the dirt have less grip. But that doesn't seem to be affecting him. And now, this whole time, he was shipped shifting at near red line now he's short shifting it now that he's caught up the dog gamer now it's a one second gap but let's just see how much grip he has for this turn in the dirt should be having less grip in fourth gear which means that he should be understeering more because the engine is working against him but he corners it phenomenally and keeps up with dog and keep in mind, after this corner, he catches up the dog, lets off the gas pedal right here when he really, he, he knows he shouldn't have to. But that's me projecting. That's not the facts. Facts are, he let off here. He's in third gear. But let's just rewind and see that corner, right? From a bird's eye point of view. Just look at how Dog takes the corner, Dog in purple, and compare that to how Nova takes the corner. Dog is taking a more traditional racing line, which should give him better traction overall. 
Dog entering from the middle, Nova entering from the curb. And Nova just completely catches up the dog, especially that second corner. Using a traditional racing line, Dog should have been able to take that corner significantly better than Nova. But Nova, effectively, it was like an initial D gutter run, just takes that corner and completely catches up the dog at the end right there. I don't know where he can get get that grip from. And using that pour of a line at the beginning right there, I don't know how you could take it that fast. I can say from experience, breaking where he did, you'd go much wider and wouldn't have the grip. And here we have him short shifting into fourth gear here. One before, when he crashed, you saw him revving all the way up to 7,000. Why would you short shift into third gear? And keep in mind, with this car, it's using the Kunos GT86 physics. And with those physics, between 3,000 and 5,000 RPM, it's like 5,500 RPM, there is a torque dip, meaning you don't get that much speed. So short shifting it is actually detrimental. We have him shifting at 5,500, short shifting it into fourth gear. And Dog is barely pulling away. Now this ending right here, let's just see where Dog broke. Dog broke late and he swung wide. But Dog broke in a straight line right there. So Dog broke. We're, we're going frame by frame with this analysis. Dog broke right around here. Right? Right around where that texture ends. He broke and wasn't able to make the corner. Let's take a gander where Nova breaks. Easing off. 100% brake power now. Nova broke. That's a full car, two car lengths later and was able to make the turn perfectly and not overshoot it. And not only that, he stays in fourth gear and is able to keep up with Dog Gamer through the end. While Dog is rev banging, rev banging, rev banging, or banging out the gear second to third and even to fourth while Nova is able just to keep pace with him in fourth gear from the torque dip zone no less from like 3000 rpm Nova is able to keep pace that should not be possible especially with this car because there is no torque there but so that, I can't explain how he's able to narrowly, well, narrowly lose to Dog Gamer, despite the fact that previously after he crashed, he showed that he would bang gears at 7,000 RPM consistently. Why he would stay at this low of an RPM, it's not consistent with his MO previously up during the run. And let's not forget about the beginning to this run right here where there's that lift off with the pedal, right? We have a slight lift off right here at the launch, but he's still able to keep up with Dog Gamer. Slight gain, lifts off, keeps pace with Dog Gamer. How? I don't know how to explain that. Because unless, say, Dog is running maximum toe for the front and rear wheels causing excessive amounts of wear maximum downforce on the rear wing to cause as much drag as possible just causing as much friction on the road and the slipstream effect is like nova should not be able to keep pace or gain on dog gamer after that launch because we confirmed that dog launched before nova and both of them were in the same gear at the same rpm but Nova was able to keep pace with Dog, even with the gas pedal not fully pressed down. I don't know how to explain that. Other than 
a modification to the car data. And that is the general theme with this. The extremely tight cornering capabilities of that car, the ability to catch up with Dog Gamer while lifting off the pedal, or lugging the car in a lower RPM than Dog. Peak, peak torque is around 5,500 RPM, and peak power is around 6,500 RPM in this car by Kunos. But Dog wasn't able to pull away from him quickly at the end when he's looking at 3,000 RPM going through the torque dip. I, I don't know how to explain this other than he modified the data in the car. So to summarize, I sincerely believe Nova is a cheater. And uh, I do thoroughly believe that cheaters should not even have the time of day in the spotlight. And cheating can come in all forms. Either you modify the data of the car and there's no checksum, or you modify the data of the car post checksum. What you do with this information is up to you. And Nova, I seriously hope you can actually back up your mouth with your skills and not cheating. It's just embarrassing.